Welcome to my channel, Playing with Mazda Ready. I'm going to be doing the daily scripture writing for August 9th. And before I begin, welcome. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. That would be greatly appreciated. So when you see it highlighted, that means the days are done. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight day 9, August 9th, 1 John 3, 2. And as I did this... I realized that I did not go to the Bible and set it up. So let me get here. This is the actual page that we're working on. So I'm going to go ahead and mark it off here. 1 John 3, 2. Let me grab the Bible, which is the NIV. So yeah, welcome. Please subscribe. Um, let me see. 1 John 3. I was right, where's the pen? Okay. So the first page you see me doing is just marking off. Look at how crazy that was. I could have did an extra day because I could have did 1 John 3, 1 through 2. But that's okay. We'll live, right? Okay. So let me show you the beginning. <clears throat> so the beginning here is just showing you the plan. It looks near here than to me here because it looks busy. So I like to come in here. I haven't did it for a couple days. Oh, wait, see, I missed five and six. Highlighter. I was already highlighter. So I like to go in there and just mark off the days that are done. That way I can see, okay, now I got 10 through 31 left. You know, so I just like the way it looks. It's just neat, clean. Here it's fine for me. I didn't write any important notes yet. Here it's fine, but it's like... Here and then here. I kind of like it going that way. I don't know. It's just me. So, for the month of August, we're focused on You Are a Child of God. Scripture writing plan. Uh, plan. Read, write, pray, and reflect. So, today is technically the 11th. So, but because we're still in, or I'm still in, day 9 of 1 John 3, 2, I am in here, which is Child of God. So, this is where I'm at. A 10 day reading plan and again if soap study was done it would be highlighted so the acronyms for soap study is scripture observation application prayer which is the soap all right let's go ahead and flip to the ninth you can see I didn't even do anything but I did highlight that I mean not highlight it but underline it but that was with you on the camera I didn't even set up day nine are you kidding me already? I'm kind of liking the um, plan in here because it's so much easier to work with. What I say was 1 John 3 2. So verse 2. 1 John. A page of mine. Yeah, three, two. Okay, so let's go ahead and read 1 John 3 2. So again, we have 1 John 3, and then 2 is right here. So 2 has the little line going across. It says, Dear friends, now we are children of God, and what we will be has not yet been. Made, made known but we know that when Christ appears we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is as he is let's read it again because I'm reading it with seeing it like more this way um, dear friends now we are children of God and what we will be has not yet been made known. But we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. So that's what I was saying in the last video. Like, where's... Where did I see that at? Like, we shall be like him. 
So I'm going to underline that. I'm going to highlight that. We shall be like him. That's what I was trying to get across on the last video. It was like, we should be like him. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Go ahead and start writing. So how are you doing and how is, you know, your family? Today is the 11th. So today is the only day I haven't had my grandson this week, which I kind of miss him. I'll have him Sunday anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I like to try to give her a break. I can't take both because of how I'm walking right now with my legs and um, my back. I can't hold the other one because, you know, he needs to be held. He's little. And I can't hold him right now. And I wish I could. But my body is not allowing it. Like, I had to go today for an emergency knee doctor appointment, which they're looking at pro possibly doing another surgery. Well, they haven't even did the first surgery. The first surgery is supposed to be a knee replacement. But with him, he's like, he don't really want to do that when you have, you know, extra weight. They don't like to do things on heavier people, I guess, is how I take it. Because you're not going to heal correctly and you're not going to just have one knee surgery. I don't think anyone has ever had just one knee surgery. And if they did, God bless them. Because then it helped. But what he's saying is because, you know, you have weight and all that. Until you lose it, you need to, you know, lose it first in order to do that surgery. The knee replacement. Well, the other surgery is a meniscus tear. And he's willing to fix that once he gets an MRI, which I had a call today to get, like, a scheduled appointment for it. So he was like, you know, we could go in and scope it. He thinks my meniscus um, flipped. Or he wants to see if it's continuing to tear. If so, then he would have to go in because my leg is staying straight. So it's not bending. Like it should. If you're in water, it will bend, of course. It's like doing something, I guess, with your muscles or whatever. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. And then, like, you could take a pain pill. You could take Tylenol. Like, anything that will help pain. But today he put, um, I had a knee gel injection, what, two weeks ago? Probably two weeks ago. And... I've been waiting for him to call me back, and they finally did last week, and I couldn't make that appointment because I had another appointment. And so I had to cancel that appointment, and I said, can you give me something? Because it was an emergency appointment. Can you give me another appointment right away? And she's like, well, I could get you in on the 15th. I was like, I actually have an appointment that day. Is there anything possibly sooner she was wait let me check and then she's like what location whatever so i'm just filling the tent out and so i was telling her you know the location you know it doesn't matter which one <coughs> and she's like okay i can fit you in on friday at nine o'clock nine twenty actually and i was like okay great thank you and then so that's when i went today so it's gonna be one john three one i should have knew that because i was just talking about that and so, yeah, that's what he was telling me. They did an x-ray. He doesn't see anything on the x-ray that made a significant change. But he does see stuff. Like, he do it's not like it's nothing. And so he's like, well, this is what I could do. So because I couldn't bend my leg today. I can't bend my leg. It stays stiff. He's like, okay, I'm going to do the lidocaine. Um, not the gel shot, but the... Your regular injection that you get your knee injection and he put lidocaine extra in there so that it blows up kind of like the knee to help mobilize it so he was starting at first he was starting to like bend the knee and it wouldn't go so like say here's your knee so this part would go like that he couldn't get it to go down 
So that's when he came up with, that's what I'm going to do. So then when he was doing this, you can, because I have bone on bone and then severe knee arthritis and meniscus tear at the same time. So when he did this, you can hear the knee. Like you can literally hear it. When I'm walking, I can hear the knee crunching. Like it's bone on bone. So, you know, you can hear it. So when he did the knee injection, he put it, so here's your knee. So usually he goes into about this area. So he went up here. And then what he did is he put so much fluid in there to like kind of like blow the knee up a little bit. And then he waited 10 minutes because he set a timer. He waited 10 minutes. He came back. He's like, okay, well, let's start moving the knee. So then he started and started. It was there. He goes, go back up. Start it, start it. And then a little bit more further. Go back up a little bit more further until I could finally. And we had to keep going the back and up. And so we could finally get it to go down. But then when I got off the table, guess what happened? Here's me walking. Okay, so this is the left knee, right? This is the right knee. The right knee is walking. This one's just dragging. Dragging. But it's not bending. So it's like that. So he has to do the surgery. So he's like, let's definitely get the... I said... He goes, how is it feeling? Oh, he's walking with me. He's like, how? Because he wanted to make sure I'm not going to fall. He's like, how is it feeling now? And I'm like, honestly, I can't bend it. And I said, as I'm walking, it's not bending. He's like, get the MRI done right away. Contact me once it's scheduled. So I already did that today. Once they schedule the appointment, they want to make a follow-up appointment right away. To see the results, go over the results what's the next procedure like what's the next step not procedure but what's the next step most likely it'll be the procedure i don't want it like i don't want a procedure i'm a diabetic i'm not gonna heal like and i can't just stay in pain and there's no life with that so that's what's been going on with me so i've been just a little down a little bit you know and I hope you enjoyed these videos. If you can give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, share the video, that'd be great. Appreciate it. And I, what I mean by down is I've been weeks, weeks with this knee. And I've been years with this knee, but weeks now. And it's like, it's leading to surgery and I don't want it. So that's all. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, like I said, um, I want to highlight this as well before I go because I definitely want to I'm going to highlight it here we shall be like him because that is like my thing that I want to be like I want when I speak someone to be like oh you, you could tell she's in her face um when I walk like um wanting people to see me like that like you can tell like she's she's working in her faith so yeah i want to be like him so thank you for watching and i'll talk to you in the next one have a good one bye bye